Cambodia is a country where I know very little to nothing about. And back home, I don't get much exposure to Cambodia culture or even Cambodian food. So going into the country, I really have no expectations. But I think that's actually a great way to be introduced to a country's culture and food and people. Good morning, guys. I'm going to Cambodia today. It's a bit bittersweet because Vietnam was beautiful, but at the same time, I'm excited to see Angkor Wat. One last note about Vietnam. The coffee is so good. I'm not a regular coffee drinker, so I have really nothing to compare to, but this was amazing. All gone. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now arriving Siem Reap International Airport, Siem Reap City, Kingdom of Cambodia. Made it to Cambodia. Such a cool airport. I really like the weather here. It's not humid. It's hot, but it's like nice and breezy. I'm just waiting for my tuk tuk. So Cambodia slash Angkor Wat has always been on my bucket list. It's up there, very high, and I'm so excited to finally get to see it. lunchtime and the sun is right above me and it's blazing hot never mind about the breezy thing it's it's not as humid though that's for sure so at least Vietnamese you can kind of pronounce it try this We'll be in Cambodia, Siem Reap for two days, three days, and we just booked a tuk tuk for tomorrow to see the sunrise at Angkor Wat. First order of business: more food. This is a local delicate dessert called Nom Kruk, which is a coconut rice cake kind of thing. It's kind of like fried milk, which I love. It's really good. At the night market right now, I know it's not nighttime, but just have to be here earlier so we can go back to the hostel to sleep because we're waking up at 4:30 a.m. tomorrow to catch sunrise. language barrier. I saw this. Looks really good, but <laughs> he doesn't speak any English. And Google Translate sucks at translating Cambodian.
nightlife went from zero to a hundred in no time. That is easily the best fry rice in Southeast Asia so far. So good. We didn't want it to stay out for too late because the next day we have to wake up at around 3 a.m. to catch the sunrise at Angkor Wat. And that's one of the main reasons why we're even here in Cambodia. Even though we didn't stay out late, we did get a good glimpse of Siem Reap and had a good opportunity to explore. And also tried out a lot of the local cuisines here and I was kind of surprised by the amount of similarities that Cambodian cuisine has with Chinese food. But for now, we gotta rest because tomorrow is a big day.